Sure, you can cross your fingers, hoping that Windows security will protect you, but it just takes one nasty piece of malware and it all comes crumbling down. So I've set out to find the best antivirus for Windows 11 and 10, and today I'm sharing five recommendations with you. If you'd like to see more cybersecurity content, consider subscribing. I'm almost at 1,000 subscribers and you can help me reach that goal. So the first antivirus I want to show you is Norton. It's been in the antivirus game since the 1990s and over the years, Norton has become a staple in the cybersecurity world. Their independent testing scores consistently show great malware detection rates and this applies both to known and completely new threats. Now I do a lot of my own testing and of course I ran a new batch of tests for this video. I planted 10 malicious files onto my Windows PC and then ran a full system scan. This time around Norton caught 7 out of 10 threats. Of course my tests aren't very exhaustive. I have the real time protection turned off and didn't run any additional scans. That's why I'm not alarmed by the score. The more important thing for me to see here is the performance. In this case, the scan took just a little over eight minutes and it used around 80% of my CPU on average. That's pretty high. So ideally, you should leave your PC undisturbed during the scan. Now, the best antivirus for Windows 10 and 11 should be able to do much more than simply remove and catch malicious files. It should also be able to prevent malware from ever getting a chance to do damage. I'm talking about Norton's intrusion prevention system, which works together with their smart firewall to catch threats and prevent unauthorized access to your device. To be fair, their firewall is one of the most advanced options that I've used with tons of customizable settings. This customizability theme actually runs through the whole Norton app. I can tweak almost everything to my liking. It's the main reason why I'd say that Norton is great for advanced users. Other antivirus for Windows 11 options can simply feel too restricting. At the same time, the apps aren't the most beginner friendly. There are a lot of features for different things and almost every feature opens in a new app window, which can get pretty annoying. However, you do get used to it. Norton is a security powerhouse. For those of you interested in a free antivirus for Windows 10 or 11, I've got sad news because this one doesn't have a free plan at all. However, you'd think that achieving a high level of security would come with a high price tag. That's not the case at all. Norton's pricing matches the industry standard. I do have one nitpick though. The most basic plan only protects one device and doesn't have a lot of additional features. That's why I'd recommend going for standard or deluxe plans. They cover more devices and bring more features. There's a VPN for safer online browsing, dark web monitoring, which checks for data leaks and parental controls, so you could keep your kids protected online as well. Moving on, if we're talking about the best antivirus for Windows 11 and 10 picks, it would be a crime not to mention Bitdefender. It's one of the most popular antiviruses and it's easy to see why. Not only they've got top marks in every possible category of independent testing, Bitdefender absolutely annihilated all 10 malicious files that I planted onto my PC. And that was with real-time protection off too. So consider me impressed. The scan took around 17 minutes, so it is longer than Norton's, but it also used less CPU on average, just around 50%. However, I can't declare Bitdefender the best antivirus for Windows 10 and 11 without checking for additional malware prevention features. As it's fit for any best antivirus candidate, Bitdefender has proper real-time protection. And there's also a firewall that monitors my device traffic. It's a bit less advanced than the Norton one with fewer customizable options, but that also makes it much simpler to use. Actually, ease of use might be one of the strongest suits of Bitdefender. The interface is simple and clean with everything properly categorized and explained. From my experience with Bitdefender, I also want to point out a couple of additional features that I found useful, like the system optimization tools. They are great for a quick and painless device cleanup, which helps the whole system run smoother, especially if you haven't removed junk files in a while. I'd also recommend checking out their anti-spam feature. It's got a handy little thing that finds and gets rid of spam emails for me. Of course, there's also a password manager and a VPN, though the latter isn't that impressive as it only allows 200 meg of data usage a day. 
Besides that though, Bitdefender is secure and versatile enough to be one of the best antivirus for PC options. As for plans, there's the Bitdefender free version. Now this one is good for a one-time scan to check if you might have malware, but don't expect any more protection than that. Now, if we look at premium plans, it's nice to see that the price doesn't bite. The cheapest option is for Windows users only and covers three devices, which is already ahead of Norton. Though, personally, I use the total security plan because I need the parental controls and the system optimization tools. What antivirus or which plan you pick is entirely up to you. I'm just here to share my experience. Just don't forget that you often don't have to pay full price. So grab a coupon from the description. I've left discount links to all top antivirus options from today's video. Speaking of those options, let's talk about Total AV. That antivirus is newer in the game. It was created in 2016. In latest independent testing, they handled 100% of older malware threats, lacking a bit behind in newer malware detection. I've put their abilities to the test myself, of course, and this time, Total AV caught eight out of the 10 files that I planted, and the scan took around about seven minutes, kind of like Norton, while the CPU usage was very similar to what I saw with Bitdefender, around 50%. Now, I want to address something I'm not a fan of right away. Total AV doesn't have a firewall. Yeah, that doesn't mean they don't have any malware prevention features. For one, I really like the WebShield extension. It blocks trackers and suspicious websites. Plus, it also has Safe Search, which shows if a site from my search results is safe before I even choose to enter it. My only nitpick is that it doesn't really work with Opera browser. Now, I could expand on additional features because Total AV has a lot to show, but keep in mind that these things heavily depend on the plan you pick. So if you want their ad block and password vault included, you have to opt for the most expensive plans. If you don't need either of these things and don't care about having a VPN, then the cheapest plan will be plenty. It covers three devices and it isn't just for Windows. So you can install Total AV on your other devices as well. Because of this, I'd say the cheapest Total AV plan has the best value of all three antivirus options. Though, there's plenty of things to improve, starting from independent testing results. I've got more antivirus for Windows 10 options for you, but my next antivirus 2023 recommendation is a little specific. I mentioned that the other best antivirus picks from my list have password managers or VPNs, but here's the thing they're usually way less advanced than the antivirus itself. If you want to strike a more equal balance, I recommend looking into Surfshark. It started out as a VPN and it made a name for itself and then rolled out a brand new antivirus. If you asked me a year ago, I would have said that they have a lot to work on before I can recommend it. However, they have been busy. The Surfshark antivirus is on par with their VPN now, with multiple scanning options, scheduled scans, proper real-time protection, and even a special feature for webcam security. Still, the biggest advantage here is the VPN, not only for online protection, but for things like accessing foreign streaming content. I also really like the Surfshark VPN browser extension, as it has an amazing ad blocker, which also takes care of trackers and warns me about malicious sites. Just keep in mind that the one bundle isn't that cheap compared to the rest of the antivirus options. So I only recommend this if you're also interested in a VPN or if you don't mind sharing because Surfshark has no limits on the number of devices you can use it on. Alternatively, there's also NordVPN, though it's a bit of a different case. Their antivirus capabilities come free with the main NordVPN plan as an extra feature called threat protection. I'd recommend this option for those who still want to stick with Windows Defender, but can admit that the security it provides needs an extra boost. Threat protection will do exactly that. It works by catching malicious files as I'm downloading them. It's very easy to use too. You kind of just turn it on and forget about it. Sadly, at the time of testing, it only worked on executable files. So you still are needed to be wary when downloading Word, PDF, or other similar files from unknown sources. These can often have malware embedded in them. That's why NordVPN didn't score so high in my own testing, yet since the time of recording this, it has improved and is very much more versatile during the scan. So I'd expect better results moving forward. If you found this video helpful, please leave a like and subscribe to support the channel. And if you still don't know which antivirus to pick, here's a little recap.
Norton, in my view, stands as a great option for advanced users who like feeling in charge of their own security. Bitdefender is a lot simpler to use, so it's great for beginners, and it also currently has the best malware detection scores. Total AV, at least their cheapest plan, is the best price to value option right now, while Surfshark will deliver the most balanced antivirus and a VPN combo. Lastly, I recommend NordVPN for people who don't want to ditch Windows security. Threat protection will be a great boost for it. Whichever option you pick, don't forget to check the description for the best Windows antivirus deals. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.